You know what I've been obsessed with watching lately is Buffy the Mad Power Slayer. I'm on season two. I skipped season one because it really isn't my favorite season. But I started watching Buffy again. I've probably watched that show at least ten times um, from beginning to end throughout the years. So one of my favorite shows. But yeah, I'm just re-watching Buffy right now. Hey guys, we're just coming from Starbucks. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you, Josie. I'm still using it. <laughs> okay, I did. Okay, whoops. <laughs> I did not have a good sleep last night, guys. Like, it was horrible. I went to bed early because I wanted to have like a good night's sleep, right? Um, sorry, my windows are all frosted, um, but the front and the back aren't. Um, I did not have a good sleep. I was, I went to bed early, well, early-ish, like 11.30 midnight. And then at like 3 a.m., Loki was like on my bed staring out the window. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I look at him, I'm like, I look outside, it was like heavy, dense, thick fog, like insane fog, like thriller fog like horror movie fog like the mist fog okay it was scary and then so he's looking out and I'm groggy I'm looking out and I'm like okay and then he looks at me then he looks back out and he goes on the windowsill like this and he's like and I'm thinking to myself I'm like is zombies coming is it the apocalypse are aliens taking over the world I have this this freaking conspiracy theory about fog because there's no fog right now what happened to the fog you know, I'm sure there's a scientific explanation, but in my paranoid mind, I'm like, okay, the government made fog because they're trying to block out the aliens that are like going through, like maybe traveling and then we could, we could see them and they're blocking them. I don't know. That regardless. <laughs> so then he was doing that and I went to the bathroom and then I went back and he's still there. And then I'm looking outside. It's just a thick fog. You can barely see shit. Um, and then I'm like, okay, whatever, this is scary. So I went, I went to like, and then I'm still playing Buffy the Vampire Slayer on my, because I usually play some sort of TV show when I'm trying to sleep, you know? So sometimes it's Golden Girls, sometimes it's, well, now it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Sometimes it was Friends, but now it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, yeah, which I'm obsessed with. I'm rewatching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I love that show. Top five for sure. Um, so I went to the bathroom, came back. He's still doing that. I'm looking outside being all paranoid. I'm like, okay. So I lay back down in bed and then he kind of stops, like he stops looking at the window, but then he's looking at my doorway and he's growling and I'm like, oh my God. You know? <laughs> and you know, when animals do that, when they growl and they like, you know, look at something for long periods of time, you know, something's there because I think scientifically and like philosophically dogs have like a sixth sense like cats do um and like babies do too and like really young kids so i know something was lurking in my hallway i want to think it's dave so maybe loki's scared of dave i don't know <laughs> i'm thinking it's dave visiting me so i'm not really scared scared but i mean it could be something else too but i don't know usually i don't know I feel like dogs growl at something that's malicious, but sometimes they'll growl at something that they're not familiar with too. So if it is a ghost that keeps appearing, then I don't know, hopefully Loki gets used to it. Oh, anyway, um, yeah. You've seen those like videos, like those YouTube shorts or those TikToks where dogs sense, sense some sort of like paranormal thing, but I don't know. Um, I will, like, I don't know. I have a hard time sleeping regardless. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm really scared. I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to paranormal things. <laughs> but yeah, after he growled, he stopped. I told him to stop and he stopped. So I feel like if it was something malicious or malevolent that he would still continue growling, even if I told him to stop. Because you know how sometimes a dog will growl at a stranger and then you tell him to stop and he'll stop? So that's what makes me think it's Dave. Um, there's no other ghost that really would haunt me unless it would be like my best friend April, but she's never haunted me. 
or visited me. I'll say visit. Or like my grandmother, but I don't think she's ever visited me either. So don't really have anybody else that was close to me that died. I mean, it could be my other dogs visiting me. That's for sure. Because then Loki does like growl at dogs and barks at them. <clears throat> anyway, that was my eventful evening. I finally fell asleep around 6.30. It's like 9.40 right now. Oh, so I slept from 6.30 to like 8. Then I got up, walked Loki, fed him, and then took a shower. My hair's still wet. And went to Starbucks. And now I'm picking up Daniel. So. Another day, another dollar that we can hopefully make. The weather here has been really nice. Like right now it's minus 7. It should be like minus 20. And then like during the day it goes up to like minus one degree below zero and usually it's like minus yeah like minus 20 minus 18 but we've had a really warmish and it's still not warm like you couldn't like if you go outside with just a t-shirt on it's super cold so i got triple drinks i feel like cars should have more cup holders i literally only have two up front there should be like four up front because <laughs> like with the passenger side needs like cup holders too and then daniel tries to steal my cup holders i need one for coffee and one for water i always need water with me i'm a water hoe it, it boggles my mind how in my 20s i hated water and i never drank water at all like water to me was non-existent in my 20s i drank juices and pop but i hated the taste of water as an adult well, I guess I was an adult in my 20s, but as like I grew in my 30s and current, <laughs> I love water. I live for water. Carbonated water is my best friend. Oh, in terms of like weight loss, guys, okay. So I'm like, I'm slowly transitioning into becoming vegetarian. So I'm not completely vegetarian yet. Right now I'm just focusing on more vegetarian meals rather than going cold turkey so that I don't like have a risk for failure. So yesterday I had a Baconator sandwich from Wendy's, which was like 900 something calories. My ice sugar venti oat shaken espresso from Starbucks was like under 200 calories. And then for dinner, I had some sushi and I had some beef, uh, I had some sushi, yeah, sushi, and then some like beef Mongolian rice dish. So I guess yesterday was a meat filled day. So today I'm going to cut back on the meat and not eat as much meat today. Like when I get home later, I want to cook a tofu stir fry with, I like the Mongolian beef. I could have done without the beef. So I want to go to the grocery store and get some Mongolian type sauce to mix in with my um, tofu and veggies. But um, yeah, so anyway, under yesterday I ate under 2000 calories. Can you believe it? I usually eat like close to 3000 calories a day, which is why I'm being like getting fatter and not losing weight getting unhealthy so i was i'm proud of myself in that sense and i'm also proud of myself for stop stopping my eating at 6 p.m after 6 p.m i had nothing nothing <laughs> it was hard guys and i'm good for fasting usually especially when i was in keto but i had nothing after six and i was dying it was a it was a struggle I had some water, 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 carbonated water, carbonated water, carbonated water. And that kept me. And then that's why I took a sleeping pill. So I, I don't, you know, I almost fell off the wagon and ate something. But <clears throat> so, yeah, I've been fasting technically since 6 p.m. Um, and that's why I ordered a pike, which is like a, a black coffee from Starbucks. And I ordered my ice sugar venti shaken espresso. But I'm not going to drink that till after 10 because once 10 o'clock hits, then we had been not eating for 16 hours and that's a perfect time for fasting 16 hours. So I'll just sip on my uh, hot hike and then maybe like 10, 30, 11, I'll drink my iced brown sugar shake and espresso. So that should tide me over. So today we fasted for 16 hours and we ate less than 2000 calories. So yay us on our way to hot bitch central and here we are at the rich white people area to go pick up Daniel. Dolce & Gabbana's eyeglasses for four bucks. It's a good price. 
Dolce & Gabbana. Hi, Miss Billy in the house. Miss Billy in the house, what's up? That's <laughs> so millennial. <sighs> okay, so actually I'll do this portion. I was gonna talk about my clinic stuff and surgery stuff, but I'm gonna talk about that in the member section. Okay, I just filmed a segment for the members and regarding the health stuff. So we did that. Um, okay, so the first thing that we found thrifting today was this amazing Hudson Bay fur jacket. What I love about it, the beautiful. fur is phenomenal. Oh, the color is great. It's gray, luxurious fur. Definitely a different fur than the brown fur jacket that I had bought for like 20 bucks. It's a little bit more pricey. I used a 30% coupon because of Colleen. Thank you, Colleen, for the 30%. It helped profusely. Uh, I ended up paying $60 with taxes in. It's a beautiful coat. I'm gonna say it's like a large uh, because it is a size 12. Hudson Bay, of course, is one of the premier brands in Canada. They're, they date back to like the 1500s, Hudson Bay. That's older than Louis Vuitton. That's like Mayflower, Boston Tea Party shit, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, and Pilgrims, Pilgrims. Um, we bought that, it was such a good deal. $60, I'm so happy to buy it for that. It's almost in perfect condition. There's like nowhere on it whatsoever. So we bought that for $60. A few other things that we bought, I wanna show you guys. Is that all that we got? I thought we got more. I guess not. Anyway, I got this, which is like headphones for my Sony personal CD player. Um, it was $4, which is fine, because like if I lock this with my Sony CD player, I can probably sell that for like $120, because it's like a complete set. So we bought that. And then we got these. We like a clean anus, and we like a clean crack. So <laughs> I love wipes. I use it to clean purses. I use it to clean my butt. I use it to wipe down things. So... We paid, so this would be six and then two dollars off, so it would have been like a two dollars each, which is fine. It's slightly cheaper than the than Dollarama. And then we got another one, and then this one was open, which I'm fine with, but it's uh, this one was a dollar ninety nine. So, and then we got a Panasonic CD player. I carry batteries with me, so I tested it; it works perfectly anti-skip is perfect for these so we just need to find some headphones for it i think i have some rca ones not exactly panasonic because i have another panasonic cd player and it has panasonic headphones and then i have a sony cd player it has rca headphones i think but now i'm going to move the sony headphones to the sony and then the rca to this until i find some panasonic ones um Is that all that we got? Uh, yeah. And then we got, okay, move this over. And then we picked up this. This was an amazing deal of a steal, guys. Michael Kors leather bag. I got this at the Salvation Army that prices very exorbitantly. And I knew that, like, the cashier lady was going to say something about it. If it was the white lady that was doing it, she wouldn't say anything about it. But the other lady, <laughs> who wasn't white, she was like, oh, look at this, look at this. She got it for this. It's like, ugh. Like they clearly missed this because they would have put this behind the counter and priced it at like $60. And they hate themselves when they miss things. And I'm glad they miss things because it gives us a fighting chance to make a freaking living, okay? Anyway, it's a Michael Kors leather bag. Um, it was $13. That was a deal of a steal of a hell of a deal. Minor wear, and I think I have a Michael Kors strap for it. So we really lucked out on this, guys. We really did. I mean, it's it's rare. It's like finding a freaking uh, unicorn to find a deal at that Salvation Army. So to find a deal there is shocking, to say the least. And the only other thing that we got was this. It's like a D&G Dolce & Gabbana um, eyeglasses. I normally don't pick these up What's anymore, but for the price, $4. I, I thought I would and it's in like great condition and somebody I'll probably throw these up on eBay and somebody will buy it for like $25 plus $20 ship so they, they'd buy this for like $40 you know I paid four bucks it's weird because Dan, when Daniel put them on he said there was a prescription but when I put them on I feel like my vision becomes really good 
like better than what I have right now. So there might be like a slight prescription, but it doesn't matter if someone who has a, a prescription will just take these out and then bring it to their optometrist and then they, they will pop in your prescription. So, and they're nice. They're like a tortoise and it says D and G on the side. So for four bucks, why not? I guess. <laughs> so we picked those up. And yeah, that's all that we got thrifting today, guys. It was, you know, slow, a few things, nothing too major, but you know, hopefully we'll make some money on it. And yeah, that is that. Daniel got a bunch of his normal stuff. He's trying to take Mad Dollarama bag. Uh-uh, ain't happening. He has a bunch of my reusable bags. And then he never returns them to me, ever. <laughs> I want to uh, use it before I send it out to the lovely Lady Badger. Don't worry, Lady Badger. I I took good care of her. Oh, I actually sort of regret because I used it today and I love it. I love it. It was so convenient. It just falls nicely on a plus size body. And it's just so easy because you have this pocket here. So I, I've been putting my, my debit card in here and my phone. Easy peasy. I don't have to keep going in the big pocket. But it fits a hell of a lot and it looks good on. So unfortunately, it's not mine anymore. But it's okay. The person that's going to get it will love it. And uh, yeah, so. And it's great condition too. So almost like nowhere that I can see. So she will be happy with this. Anyway, guys, I hope you're doing well. I, oh, did I, oh, what did I say? What was I going to say? What was I talking about? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs>